Hello everyone, welcome to Ankit Sunil Vets. Today we will see 12 benefits of vaginal delivery over the cesarean section. Uh, by this video, I do not mean to say that cesarean section is bad, but I want what I want to say is that to yeah, if you have a chance or to, to choose between vaginal delivery and cesarean section, then you should prefer vaginal delivery. Everything it has its pros and cons. Um, the reference for the scientific data which I am going to provide you is given in the description box of this video. You can go through for more details. Now, uh, to first understand what is normal vaginal delivery and the cesarean section is. In normal vaginal delivery, the baby is delivered through the vagina, normal process, no cut, nothing, no surgery. In cesarean section, it's like abdomen is cut down and then baby is taken out, out, out of it. General information, uh, just for information that cesarean section is not uh, derived from Julius Caesar. Uh, actually, it was very controversial uh, thing, but uh, I uh, what uh, the peop most people believe is that it was a Roman law where the pregnant ladies who gonna die and like or the or during the post mortem the the baby is delivered and the baby's life is saved. What WHO recommends that incidence of cesarean section should be five to ten percent, but it's increasing these days. Um, because of uh, like doctors are able to now diagnose diseases early so they don't have to wait and for the la last moment they can easily plan cesarean section um, another thing is people are also demanding uh, cesarean section more uh, especially in private hospitals it's more practiced and one more thing is doctors do not want to take risk and they, they tell the patient to undergo cesarean section and there are other things too um, so coming to the 12 benefits of vaginal de delivery over the cesarean section is first benefit is ki uh, the w mother have to stay in the hospital is less just uh, within 24 hours or after 24 hours the mother is discharged but uh, in cesarean section it takes approximately uh, like 5 to 6 days um, hospital duration stays there vaginal delivery as the recovery is early uh, but compared to cesarean section, there is abdominal pain and the recovery only starts after third day onwards. In um, vaginal delivery, baby can have early breastfeeding as within just within after one hour of birth, baby is uh, in direct contact with mother. But it's not the thing with the cesarean section because uh, the mother has undergone anesthesia and it's kind of a surgery, a major surgery. So the breastfeeding is generally delayed after one day or six hours and also there is abdomen pain so mother finds it very difficult to feed the baby after cesarean section. Here I must tell you this um, breastfeeding, uh, uh, the early breastfeeding have this cholesterol so this cholesterol have a antibody and immunity it, it provides, a, it makes the immunity of baby very strong. One benefit is it's a natural method um, vaginal delivery but so there is no major surgery has to undergo so patient don't have to worry about surgery or to you know panic about other things so there is no other complication. People have found that um, there is a better bonding if the baby is born through vaginal delivery the bonding between mother and the baby is very good between in vagin normal vaginal delivery compared to the cesarean section. Um, the other benefit is the immunity of the baby is very strong. There are three theories regarding it. One theory is uh, that when the baby uh, passes through the uh, birth canal, so birth canal is very narrowed and the baby is little comparatively large. So what happens ki that uh, birth canal squeeze out the fluid from the baby's lung and the baby can have a first breath and it's a healthy and it, it, so there is no respiratory problems. The other thing is key there is an early uh, exposure to the bacteria as the birth canal have lots of bacteria and flora. So if the baby get exposed to it, uh, so it becomes uh, it acquires immunity toward it. The third is key as we uh, saw it previously that vagin normal vaginal delivery have the early breastfeeding which have cholesterol and provide makes the baby more stronger. And the seventh benefit is uh, there as in cesarean section there is um, babies are born before the accurate time or nine months so because of some demand or some medical or surgical complications are there during the pregnancy so the uh, in, in cesarean section so there is a, a prematurity of the baby that can result into 
things like a respiratory distress syndrome where the, there is a, some respiration problem and there could, uh, with the prematurity there could be other complications low birth weight and other, other things eighth as in a normal vaginal delivery there is no surgery need to be done so uh, there is no complications of surgery complications of surgery are uh, what happens ki the, during the surgery there could be bleeding uh, through the uterine vessels to stop the bleeding cesarean section may turn into hysterectomy hysterectomy is the removal of the uterus so the whole uterus have to be removed to stop the bleeding uh, because if bleeding is not stopped the mother can undergo shock and then she may even lose her life so it's very rare complication but may happen the other complications uh, which can be there are uh, infections could be there during the surgery after the uh, there could be injury to the bladder or other structures there are lot more complications of surgery and as during the cesarean section mother has to uh, undergo regional anesthesia which can have hypotension bradycardia headache uh, now some nerve injury due to injection that they put epidural and and it's pain in the spine the another benefit is there is no scar in normal vaginal delivery in c section there is a scar so cosmetically uh, some to some others it is not acceptable because of their clothes wearing and other things too uh, the uh, other thing is ki in the scar scar take generally 6 to 18 months to properly heal if the mother undergo the second pregnancy like if during the first pregnancy mother underwent uh, scissor infection and the second one so uh, in the second one she wants to undergo vaginal delivery so there is only chances of uh, less than 1.5 percent chances that the scar may rupture so what it implies it if the mother has undergone first baby um, as a cesarean section see she still have a chance to undergo uh, the second baby as vaginal delivery so, uh, le less costly as um, and there is a hospital stay are less uh, expenditure for uh, operation anesthesia medications are less so over or also in the long term effect you know as a cesarean section so overall benefits are more and also it's very less costly to undergo vaginal delivery uh, it gives a positive birthing experience to the mother because as mother is actively involved in the process if we compare it with the cesarean section mother is unconscious and uh, she is uh, not able to interact with the baby after the delivery also so vaginal delivery results into overall healthy mother and healthy baby if uh, you think like in private hospitals they are more chances of getting cesarean section so you can prefer a uh, good government hospital for vaginal delivery as it is seen the chances of cesarean section in, in uh, government hospitals are very less thank you for watching this video if you want more videos subscribe to my channel and you can follow on facebook or twitter thank you